So, how do we figure out our position relative to a VOR? Well, the first thing I'm going to have to ask you to do is forget everything you know about a VOR. Needle goes left, you go left. Needle goes right, you go right. But wait, if you're in reverse sensing, fly the other way around. And if you're doing an inverted loop to the loop, you might have to backtrack balancing a banana on the compass. Come on, this is complete nonsense. There's got to be a better way. And that's why, again, I ask you to forget all you know about a VOR. Let's say you live in New York, and I live in Dallas. And I'll ask you in which general direction to fly to get to you. You would probably tell me to fly northeast. That's exactly what a VOR does. A VOR, like you before, will give me one or two cardinal directions to fly to to get to it. In this case here, the VOR is telling me to go northeast. How do I know this? It's incredibly simple. The first thing I do is look at the flag. And by the way, I don't like to call it a to from indicator. It's just a flag. It points to one of the cardinal directions that will bring us closer to the VOR. As you can see, the flag is pointing straight down. So I look for a cardinal direction on the same side of the VOR as where the flag is pointing to. In this case, it's evident that the cardinal direction I'm looking for is north. Next, I look at the needle. And as you can see, it is pointing to the left side of the instrument. So again, I look for a cardinal direction on the left side of the instrument. And as you can see, east is on that side. So this VOR, as you before, is telling me to fly northeast to get to it, placing me southwest of the station. It's that simple. Now I'm going to give you another thorough explanation on how this method works so everything gets clear. Remember, you need to forget all you know about a VOR. First of all, do you see that to from? I mean, do you see the to and the from on the instrument? No, you don't. That to and from does not exist. That's the first step, realizing there is no to from. Second, we look at which side the flag is pointing to. As you can see, the flag is pointing straight up. This means that the cardinal direction it's pointing to is on the upper side of the instrument. And that's why the bottom 100 degrees is gone. Now, if we look at the top of the instrument, we can find two cardinal directions, west and south. But the closest to the top of the instrument is south. So that's one of the cardinal directions that brings us closer to the station. Next, we examine the needle. And as you can see, it's on the left side. This eliminates the right 180 degrees of the instrument. So again, that's gone. If we again look for a cardinal direction on the same side of the needle, the closest in the center is east, and that is the second cardinal direction that will bring us closer to the VOR. So again, to get to this VOR, we need to fly southeast, putting us northwest of the station. Now, let's look at how easy it is to answer questions on the written tests using this method. A typical question on the various FAA tests will ask you to identify your position relative to the station, giving you a VOR representation and a figure with various aircraft positions, and ask you to identify the correct aircraft. In this case, for example, they will ask you to pick between aircraft 8, 12, or 2. So again, we look at the flag of the VOR, and as you can see, it's pointing down, and the cardinal direction we find at the bottom of the instrument is south. Next, the needle. That's pointing to the left. And again, the cardinal direction on the left side is west. So if we wanted to fly to the station, we would have to fly southwest. Well, if we need to fly southwest, we have to be northeast of the station. Looking at the three possible answers, the only aircraft northeast of the station is aircraft number eight. Now, there are plenty of questions like this one on all of the FAA exams from the private all the way to ATP. This method not only works for all of them, but will also obviously work in the airplane. So if you're lost and there is a VOR close to the airport you need to fly to, tune into the frequency, identify it, and then just look at the flag and needle to get a general idea of where your destination is with respect to you. 
And for more information on this topic and many others, check out PassFAEexams.com.